Um, I was suffering from deep depression. Um, prior to that, I had been uh, sexually assaulted five years ago, and prior to that, I'd been suffering from some minor forms of anxiety for most of my life. So when I came, it was, it was mainly to do with my PTSD. It was dark. It was horrible. It was hopeless. It was black. There wasn't anything. Nobody could have told me that I was worth living, existing. Mm, it was hard. It wasn't pleasant. And I'd also tried uh, the normal sort of therapies, including psychological counselling. I'd actually ended up seeing a psychiatrist from time to time. Um, certainly with the PTSD, I'd had psychiatric care. Um, I've been taking meds, I've been taking antidepressants and sleeping tablets, and absolutely nothing. Nothing has really worked. Um, basically through Google search, and the reason for that was that um, I thought that perhaps there would be such a thing, I knew that there were such things as health retreats or yoga retreats that I, that would be you know, a possibility for me to go to so that I could heal myself. Um, and then the thought occurred to me, well maybe there is such a thing as a depression retreat and that's how I ended up on the website. Uh, the main part about the website that um, caught my attention was that it appeared to be a very pragmatic approach. Um, I didn't want anything that was uh, even slightly voodoo or, or uh, sort of with a religious indoctrination. It was really important to me to have something that was more scientifically um, viable for my brain to sort of deal with. Um, I wanted it to be practical and pragmatic and, and that's exactly what it's ended up being. The surroundings are serene and beautiful and the people were very warm and welcoming and um, understanding. I think that's the main thing. There was no judgmental approach. It was um, quite simply high. Um, I'm so and so, oh you must be Angela and it felt a little bit like coming home. The highlights of my stay have been the ability to get some rest <laughs> after 25 years on the go, flat stack. Um, it was nice to, in fact that's a really important thing is that I was able to remove myself from the situation and come here and shut everything out and say you know what, I, I have to do this for me. That's a really, really, really big part of it. The one-on-one -on -one, uh, massages, uh, the pool, the people, they've all been highlights in one way, shape or form and it's, it's all been great. When I came in, I was in shock and sort of turned into myself. I could only think about all the problems that I had. I could only think about all the bad things that had ever happened to me. I could only think about how bad the situation was that I was currently in. Um, now, now, I wake up in the morning when the sun comes up and I'm glad that the sun's come up. I'm glad that the sun's come up and I'll go for a walk and I feel hope. Just hope. And I feel okay. What I would say to people that are thinking about coming, um, firstly, if you're searching for an answer, which is what they're probably doing right now in front of a computer somewhere, um, I can't explain how much of an answer this has given me. Um, and dare to take the step. It's a big step and for me it was a huge leap of faith, for want of a better word. Um, it was a huge leap of faith because I'd not only tried everything else myself, but I'd also seen other people try everything else themselves and nothing has worked for anybody. I really think that this way of doing things, this different approach to life, um, has got to be for me from now on the only way forward. It really does. Do it, take that leap of faith. It's, you're worth it. You're really worth it.